Now comes the best part. We get to try them. I wish you guys were here so you could know how good they taste. Ready? To make the gluten-free zucchini whoopie pies, today we're going to be using the King Arthur all-purpose gluten-free baking mix. You're going to need a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. You're going to need one cup grated zucchini. What we do, because you always get a surplus in the summertime of zucchini and you never know what to do with it, is we chop it up and we put it in a blender and grate it and we freeze it that way. So then in the winter time, we can make zucchini whoopie pies, we can make zucchini bread muffins and zucchini bread. That's how we use all the excess zucchini that we get in the summertime. Then you're going to need one egg. We're using an organic duck egg. You can use a regular chicken egg if you want. Then you're going to need half a cup of granulated sugar and half a cup of brown sugar. So then you're going to need a half a cup of butter. We use Kerrygold butter. This butter is from grass-fed cows and it really makes a big difference in your baked goods. So if you can find Kerrygold, I recommend it. Half a cup of milk. We use raw milk and then you're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract which and you're also going to need a teaspoon of cinnamon. No one in our family has a gluten issue, but we've been using it. We get together with some friends. If you're wondering why we have a blue counter, the island's not done yet. We just got too excited to make this recipe. We're going to a New Year's Eve party tomorrow night. So we thought we'd make this and bring it along with us. And we thought we'd share it with you guys too. We need to combine the baking mix with the cinnamon, baking powder, and baking soda. Are allergic to gluten so we've been trying to mix it up for them so they're able to eat the cakes and all the baked goods we make you can't even tell that it's a gluten-free mix so I'll leave a link in the description below on Amazon where you can get the gluten-free mix one two, two. Once all the flour, baking powder, and baking soda and cinnamon is combined, just set that aside in a bowl. Now we're going to add our half a cup of butter, but before we put it, dump it in, I wanted to show you. See how yellow that butter is? The reason why it's so vibrant and yellow is because it's made from milk from grass-fed cows. Yep. We're in your half cup of butter. We're going to add in our half cup of sugar. Then you're going to need half a cup of packed brown sugar. So push it in there good. Ready? Okay. Oh wow. I didn't know that I got all of it. Then you add your half cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and your one egg. need to add your one cup of zucchini. Then I just like to take my spatula and run it on the sides and the bottom to make sure everything is mixed up well. Once your wet ingredients and your sugar is all mixed together well, then we go ahead and we can add in our flour mixture. You just want to mix this until it's all combined. You don't want to over mix. Yum. Again, before it's completely done, I just like to go around with my spatula and push down all the edges. Are you going to try the mix? You yeah. can turn it. Then you're going to want to line two cookie sheets with parchment paper. Mm -hmm. 
Then we're just gonna take a tablespoonful of the mix, put them on the cookie sheet, and leaving about two inches of space between each one. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, you wanna try the mix? Yeah. Go ahead, try it. Yum. Is it good? Yeah. Then you're gonna bake them for eight to 10 minutes until they're slightly browned in your oven that's preheated to 375. We're gonna set our timer for eight minutes and then come back and check them. Now that they're done, a little golden brown. We're gonna take them off. Set them on a wire rack to cool down. That's what they should look like when they're cooked. I guess the dog even thinks they smell good. She decided to get up from her nap, huh? Mm -hmm. I hold up. Zucchini whoopie pies are cooling down. We're gonna make the filling. What you're gonna need to make the filling is one and a quarter cups confectionery sugar, half a cup of unsalted butter. Again, we're using Kerrygold pasture-raised butter. It makes a difference. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you're gonna need two cups of a marshmallow cream, like fluff and nutter. We're not gonna make it that easy on you. We're gonna make homemade marshmallow cream. We want these things to be delicious and nutritious. They got sugar in them and some carbs, but we're trying to make them as healthy as we can. I would feel comfortable feeding these to my daughter for breakfast. These are gonna be a lot better for you than a Pop-Tot or any cereal out there you can buy. To make the marshmallow cream, we need two-thirds of a cup of sugar and three egg whites. You wanna get me two-thirds of a cup of sugar? Sure. Okay, what do you have there in your hand? A third cup. So how many of those do you need to make, to get me the sugar? Two. All right, can you go get me that? Thank you. Then you need to make a double broiler with your stand mixer or another stainless steel bowl that you can use with your handheld mixer. So just get a pot of water going, put your bowl on top of that so your bowl can heat up. Then we're gonna take our egg whites and our half a cup of sugar and put them in the mixer bowl. Then you need to whisk it all together until the sugar is dissolved. Once the sugar is dissolved and the egg whites are warm, you want to take it off from the double broiler and just dry off the condensation. And then we're going to put it on our stand mixer. Then you need to mix it on medium for about eight minutes until it gets glossy and starts forming lumps. When it gets like that, I'll show you guys. Ours took about 10 minutes. And I don't know if that is because we are using organic eggs from our backyard versus store-bought, if that makes a difference or not. So when you're making your fluff mixture, if it's not thick and doesn't stick to your fork, keep mixing it and let it go a little bit longer. You want to try it? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yummy! It tastes like organic fluff. Can you believe that's all there is to real fluff and nutter is egg whites? and sugar. I would have never thought that. Would you? No. So to make the filling now we need half cup of butter, one and a quarter cups of confectionery sugar, and we want to cream them together. Once the butter and confectionery sugar is combined, you just want to teaspoon of vanilla, so one glug, and we're going to add in our two cups of our homemade fluff. Mm. Now 
comes the fun pot, making the whoopie pie. Yeah. It's all fresh ingredients, so you do want to store them in the refrigerator. And you want to eat them within a week. I don't think you're going to have a problem eating them within a week. Now comes the best pot. We get to try them. I wish you guys were here so you can know how good they taste. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's a treat, a snack that I can feel good about sharing with my friends, their kids, my daughter, and my wife. Might not be exactly health food, but it's not junk food. You know what I need? I need a cup of coffee. That would be good with coffee. So tomorrow night, I'm gonna have to bring some coffee to the party. I hope they last till tomorrow night. Think they'll last? I hope so. I'm gonna have to put them in the downstairs fridge and keep our hands off of them. It's not gonna be easy. So if you guys have any ideas on how to make the center filling thicker with good, wholesome ingredients, leave them in the comments below. When you try the recipe, because I know you will, it's delicious, let me know what you thought about it, if it's one of your favorites or not. Subscribe to the channel, it helps us. Share it, it helps. And down below there will be some links to some of the products we were using today. If you click on them, you can buy them on Amazon. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. Mm -hmm.